How are you doing everybody, John's Nier, and in this video, I'm gonna answer a question that I think will be very helpful for you guys, as this is the new year, we have a huge influx of people that are making New Year's resolutions, and wanna take advantage of your personal training services. Now, this question may be a little bit difficult to digest, but I think it'll put you in the best position to earn as much money as possible for your service. That question is, is personal training too expensive? Now, based on my experiences as a personal trainer and now as a boot camp owner, I think I can offer you a perspective which will help you position yourself to make as much money possible. So let's go into it. But before I do, if you have not yet, make sure to click on that link up there and subscribe to my newsletter as I send out short articles every Monday on how to see success in the fitness industry. If you just happen to stumble upon this video, click on the YouTube icon below and subscribe to this channel as I make videos every Wednesday Wednesday based on questions that I get the most. And as always, if you've already subscribed to both my newsletter and to the YouTube channel, thank you very much for your support. And if you find the information in this video helpful, please click on the like button below the video player because every like that I get helps this channel. So a lot of you know my path as a fitness professional. I started off in personal training, went to the corporate world in banking, realized I hated the corporate world, went back into personal training, and has since left personal training for boot camp uh, for the last seven years. And I would never go back to personal training. And one of the main reasons why I left was that I felt it was too expensive for the average person. Now this, mind you, is the fact that I live in the Northeast. A lot of people commute to the city, all right? Um, there's a lot of affluent towns in my area. So I could conceivably charge, you know, 50, 60, 70, $80 per session. But there are a lot of you out there that are in smaller market towns. Not everybody lives in Miami or LA or near New York or Dallas. So you may not be able to charge the same amount that, you know, I may be able to claim to charge. Uh, what I found is that doing boot camp has helped me in a number of ways because you're able to charge less and give more. Whereas in the big box gym, you have to charge way more because the gym has to get a cut and you have to get a cut. So for instance, a gym may charge $30 per session. The person is training three times per week. So that's $90 per session, $360 per month. I, on the other hand, am a boot camp. I'm charging like $10 per session essentially, and people are able to come in Monday through Friday, I'm charging $200 per month. So let's consider the personal training scenario. How many people do you know are able to afford $360 per month? It's your job to identify and then convince them that you're worth that amount of money. And it's very hard to do I very easily can make the argument for my boot camp because I also spend around $200 a month on fitness based on my gym membership and based on my CrossFit membership. So I spend that amount of money. But how many people, you know, fitness professionals out there realistically spend that $350, $360 per month? It's much easier to keep people under that $200 range. And that would be your goal. So what happens very often when people are signed up to personal training? They want a personal trainer, but they can't afford that rate. So they're signing up for one time a week. Um, let's say $40 per session. So it's $160 per month, which is only like $40 less than what I charge. However, they're more likely to fall off because they don't get the benefit of seeing the trainer multiple times a week, which is what people want. So where do you meet them in the middle? Let's say you have a client, you're charging them the same rate, $30, uh, $60 per hour, $30 per hour, three times a week. You can instead say to this client, you know what? Um, how about this? Instead of charging you $360 per month, $30 per session at three times a week, I'll charge you $10 per session five times a week and it won't go past $200. However, you have to be okay with the fact that I'm gonna train up to nine other people at a time, all right? So you're offering small group training and for whatever reason, I'm not sure why um, personal training directors and personal training managers can't wrap their head around and encourage their trainers to or teach them to offer small group training because you only have certain slots that are very high in demand. 5 in the morning, 5.30 in the morning, 6, 6.30 in the morning, and then like 6.30 in the evening, 7.30 in the evening. Those are high demand spots. So if you fill it with one person, you now have the task of getting more clients but finding time slots that work for them. It's much better off to find the prime time slots and turn that into a group training session because number one, it gives you an assisted sale. Whenever I have somebody doing a group on for my boot camp, 
I have them with a existing boot camper, usually a longer term boot camper, so I don't have to sell that hard. My existing boot camper essentially just does the selling for me. They tell the new boot camper how great I am, the great results, all the fun they have. Um, I often try to learn as much about the Groupon or in your case, the intro or comp session person. I try to find out as much as possible about them so I can link them up with somebody that has similar interests because people, we are relationship machines. And the more that you can expand somebody's social circle, in addition to giving them something they want, which is fun and fitness, they're much more likely to stay with you. And since you have that lower cost, it's more reasonable for them. A lot of the times people do want a trainer and they do want to train, but once you go above $200 per month, you're looking at above a car payment, all right? You're looking at more than car insurance. You have to consider what the average cost is and you can't just think of it like, oh, I'm so great, the person should be willing to pay that much money. So if you want to give yourself the best opportunity to succeed, consider this client. They were once paying you $480 per month. However, now they're paying you $200 per month. They're allowing you to have up to nine other people in the small group training. You're still giving them the attention that they need, but your max earning potential has ballooned from 480 to 2000. So you've quadrupled the amount of money that you can make as a trainer within that same hour. And moreover, the act of growing your business is not going to cost you anything. Whereas a personal trainer, you have a paid client that you're seeing for an hour. You now have to allocate an extra hour to somebody that is not paid doing comp sessions and they may or may not stay. Whereas if you're able to bring them into your small group training class because you have room, you have the assisted sale and it's not costing you any extra time in order to give the person the comp session, they walk out happy. If they wanna train with you, great. If they don't want to, that's okay too. You haven't lost anything. So consider your strategy when it comes to training your clients. This can be done in a big box gym. All you need to do is find an open area and the more exclusive you make it seem, chain it off or put like that caution tape around or put cones around a small group training only with Jonathan or whatever your name is, the more um, attractive it will seem to a client that may be interested in getting that personal touch. So if you wanna do small group training and you never learn how to do it correctly, whether you're a rookie or a pro, definitely recommend that you check out my Dumbbells to Dollars course as it is a course dedicated for big box gym trainers who wanna see more success and it will also help you transition when you're ready into a boot camp owner or an owner of your own business. It's the same path that I took, it's the path that I'm on now that has helped me to see success so that I can make videos to help you guys. So check out the course by clicking on that image up there. It will also help you keep your certifications current as it offers CEUs for ACE, NASM, ISSA, NSCA, and AFA, and it will also teach you how to coach nutrition, market your business, build websites, and monitor your social media. So stay on top of that. Um, thank you for watching. As always, if you have any extra questions, put them in the comment section below. Remember, your comments are what fuel the videos of this channel. So keep them coming, and I'll do my best to answer them. I'll be back next week as long as you remember to eat healthy, hydrate, drive safe, stress levels all get rest. Don't slap anybody. Love your clients. They'll love you back. I'll see y'all tomorrow or the next day, and you have a good one.